Hello guys, Knight Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast, we're just in the game, and of course boots are being bought, and I'm lying, for there's actually a regrowth pendant in there as well, and a fairy charm, or two, but for the rest I think boots will get bought, even though I don't know what Yorick is thinking, he forgot to buy, oh sorry Knight Spectre, I didn't want to disturb you, here boots, I Right, yes, good, Yorick. You'll be fine, go help your mates out. So let's go over the teams quickly. So, as you could have seen, we have a Yorick who is going top. A jungle scanner, always good. Guy Gary, <laughs> I see what you did there. Probably not. We have a Twisted Fate who will be in the middle, magnificently. We have a Grace who will be bottom together with Tarik. Tarik now assisting the allies for a possible jungle invade. They do have... Well, let's go to the enemy team and check it out. I was going to say because he... They do have a Morgana who is fairly good at jungle ganks. If you get snared by her dark binding, you will die. Except now if she would cast it onto Graves then nothing would happen. Though she, she wouldn't have known that Graves would have been there. So, Morgana, middle for red team. We have Shen who is still keeping guard as well, so good job there, Shen. They were scared for the possible Tauric invade together with Twisted Fate. Gold card plus just the Dazzle of Tauric would have been too much. We have Lux here as well. She will be in the middle. Oh, what am I saying? Ah, it's a support Morgana. Very well. So, we have Lux in the middle. We have a Mumu jungling. And we have a Corky who will be the carry on the bottom. Nice a Mumu skill. Never saw it really in action as much as I would love to. Mumu doesn't get played as much anymore on my elo, though he I think he's still strong. I like a Mumu. Oh, it's actually Corky now leashing. Ugh, that's not what you want though. He didn't take damage, so it's a plus for a Mumu. Corky is going to assist him, though it would seem that Corky wants a Mumu to use smite. It's actually weird, normally you'd see a Mumu start with the tears, but instead, well despair. Instead he started with the tantrum. But it works apparently, he didn't have to use his smite, which is very good, he is now going to regen with the pots. He's actually going for a gank first, he spotted Skarner, there was a ward placed there by Morgana, so he might actually smite steal this. There is no vision there, Skarner isn't pulling back because he isn't expecting a thing. How can you expect such a thing? Lux is actually giving it away, that's not what you want. Well, uh, unless they get the kill onto him, but they probably won't, so Skarner now doing a lot of damage onto Lux. The Mumu was able to take red buff, but Mumu is not a strong character early on in the game. He had to flash away. Now Morgana going in with the Dark Binding onto Skarner. A Mumu will probably banish Star straight after. He doesn't have it yet. He has the spare. Nice shield there by Lux. Don't know if it will be enough though. Tarik is there as well. Will Lux be able to... Uh, yeah, Mumu, go away! Go away! No! A Mumu! No! So we have Graves now going for a possible double kill. He has red buff and the blue buff. He gets binded by Lux. And now we have Skarna taking the Morgana as well. Amumu could have ran away, he didn't. Pity indeed. There was not really anything he could do, as long as you don't have Bandit Sash, you can't do anything. Oh, Corky against the wall! Oh, this could be dangerous, but he still has flash anyway. Oh boy, that destroyed my voice. I shouldn't have screamed like a little girl, that's for certain. So dynamic camera, if you would please. Oh, Shen actually fairly low. They have a Shen top, by the way. I didn't even have the time to say that. Oh. And I'm running out of water. Which is very bad. But I will survive, guys. Oh, I will survive. For as long as I know how to live, I know I'll stay alive. Well, the good part about Amumu is that he can still have red, but Amumu is very dependent on blue buff, so he will not be able to jungle as fast as he would like. Lux actually again going for a jungle invade there, and Graves again went straight to the middle. Who cares about farm anyway, am I right? Graves of course has the double buff, so he is a fairly big thing now. He should be in his lane. He has been shoving it, Corky is fairly low, but yeah. Graves uh, is going to buy some items first, and why not? Blue card is the most damaging card in the game. It's even stronger than red card, and it gives him mana. So don't think, ah, oh, silly twisted fate, he didn't have the gold or the red card. It doesn't do nothing. 
Now he has red card, so alright, that didn't do anything. You either want gold or you want blue as a twisted fate. You might say in team fight, hey, go for a red card, slow everyone if they're near to each other and damage them for the full potential. Perhaps, but who thinks that quick anyway? Yorick getting ganked by a Mumu with barely any mana, so he will be able to do a single bandage touch and it will be a kill. I thought that Chen would have been in the- oh no. Shen getting the kill becomes level 6 and at the same time Griffs got the kill and give me some that ah, let's go to the middle first so here we have a little Lux getting gold carded uh, by the twisted fate and then we had Skarnet just standing around going to do a single auto attack and it will be more than enough almost dying to the turret though. Now let's go to the bottom lane where we had a Morgana just standing about and probably dying, saving the life of Corky, but at what cost? At what cost, girl? So that was everything. All the lanes were attacked at the same time, and I don't have triple screens. So I, if I would edit it, I could do it, but then you guys would turn crazy. Hearing my voice three times in a row, Amumu going to show his pretty little face, going to get a card into his face, and I can't see his cards! I can't see the wild cards of Twisted Fate, which is fairly annoying for me, but it should be annoying for Amumu, though he probably has vision on the cards, it's probably a replay bug, but still, come on! Come on! Oof! So a fairly busy game for now, blue team in the lead with about 2k gold, even more than that, so it's fairly good for blue team, they have been able to gank a lot, and they have been able to feed Graves for quite a bit, so it's pretty bad, we have a 2 to 0 Graves with 1310 million kills, so yes, the replay system is still a little bit bugged there as well, Corky almost dying even, so there is really nothing Corky can do, even though they're the same level. Tarik Graves is just such a strong composition. If Tarik is able to stun you, then Graves will do a buckshot in your face. And the closer range Graves is, the more damage it does. Of course, there are three, well, bullets that fly off. And if you get hit by both of them, well, that's the fun about conal damage. Graves got caught, won't do any damage. He has too many minions anyway. I think Corky might actually take more than that. Well, that would be silly. But he did take a considerable amount of damage just by the minions, because he auto attacks Graves. Now Yorick is level 6. Keep in mind, Shen is level 6, of course. He could save whoever he likes, if he is quick enough. This is solo rank, so they aren't communicating on Ventrilo or anything like that, so it will be very hard to pull off. But if Shen has very good minimap control, and if his team wants to ping, then he knows, oh, is there someone that needs my saving? And he'll save the day. Now another gank, possibly on Yorick, Amumu is coming down, Shen is already fairly low though, Yorick of course is a very beast to deal with, Shen is staying ground, so Yorick should have realized that, hmm, that's odd, why is he attacking me? Well that's why Yorick, there's an Amumu right behind you, ultimate use there by Yorick, Shen actually farming minions instead, Curse of the Sad Mummy has been used by Amumu, but there's a Twisted Fate coming from the rear. Will Yorick survive this? No, he will not, but I think this could be a double kill. Amumu was able to flash away. Scumbag Shan got destroyed. He was a meanie anyway. Amumu cannot defend this. You don't have any mana. You don't have any health. One gold card should be enough to kill you. So please, by all means, run away. Now that Twisted Fate has some more mana, he might actually... Oh, actually, the wild cards doesn't do any damage on the Mumu. Never mind what I said. You're doing a good job, Mumu. Standing guard, standing tall, standing proud. You're making your nation proud. Which will probably be Egypt. And, well, they have mummies in other civilizations as well. He might be Mayan. But then he doesn't have a heart. And if a Mumu doesn't have a heart, then how can he cry? Indeed. So then, Amumu was able to do at least something uh, with the Shando. There was a double kill on top, so the gold differentiation is still fairly high. 3k gold, not much they can do. They have crept a little bit closer, Red Team, so that's good. But it's still 5 kills to 2. And you still have Graves to deal with, which is a fairly annoying factor indeed. A strong Graves can be so determinating for the course of the game it's not even funny we might see it we might not i don't know 
we shall see. Twisted Fate pushing down the middle, doing a little bit of damage there. Lux has been away for far too long. I wonder why. She was going to try and gank on the Mumu top, but the Mumu went away. Lots of damage there again onto Shen. Now there's no Mumu there, he needs help immediately. But a Mumu cannot babysit top for all eternity. Bottom lane needs his help as well. I might say even more. It's fairly more important that they help Kofi try to get an upper game. And that's an impale by Skarner. And that's going to be the quickest kill I've ever seen in the history of League of Legends. Not too sure anyway why Corky didn't went for the cleanse, instead he went for Ignite. This is ranked, so he did saw the combination of Twisted Fate, Tarik and Skarner. I think that that just cries for a cleanse. Yorick still beating the crap out of Shen, but Amumu is again there to try and assist the Shen to get a kill onto Yorick once more to help him, but clearly it's bottom lane that needs to help the most. Oh, nice job there by Morgana, interrupting the recall, giving Corky a little bit more time to go back and farm. She might actually do another one. Yes, indeed, she did interrupt it again. It might have been a bait, though, because Tarik stayed there as well on the other side of the brush. And Mumu, by the love of God, go to the bottom. They need your help. He's a Shen. Ah, well. Bottom lane is gone now, so there's no point in ganking there anyway. Is there a ward anyway by blue team? Because I can't see one now. There they go. A very patient at the Mumu will get rewarded with a kill. Actually, Twisted the fate. Oh, too soon! No, you shouldn't have. Shan now trying to run away. Actually, nice teleport there by Lux, but it won't do that much. He, she needs to throw her laser down. Why won't you shoot your... Almost getting the kill there. Thanks for interrupting me there, Lux. On my screen it was way off, but of course it might be a replay bug. So they didn't get the kill onto Twisted Fate. Amumu used his Curse of the Sand Mummy a little bit too soon. If he used it after the teleport of Twisted Fate, after he gated, it, he would have got snared as well. And it would have been way easier to get the kill onto him. A pity indeed, but hey, it happens. I'm not judging you, Amumu. Skarner doing fair amounts of damage onto Amumu there, trying to keep him away from the tower. Amumu was not impressed, going to do a lot of damage onto Skarner as well. So a nice little trade up there. Bottom lane again being fairly aggressive onto Corky. Thank the gods they had Black Shield. Actually, maybe that's why Corky didn't go for clans. Because they have a Morgana support who will throw down as many Black Shields as she pleases. But then you need to throw them down at the fairly right moment because Corky got impaled there, girl. You can't cast it too soon because then they might juke out and fail and nothing will happen. Amumu again going top. Shan really gets babysitted and he enjoys the hell out of it. But now there is a ward. No way, Jose, that you will get Yorick anytime soon, Amumu. He's tired of your ganks and quite frankly, I agree. You're annoying and nobody likes you and that's why you don't have any friends. Actually, almost a nice bandix bandix bandage toss there. But... Because he doesn't have Curse of the Sad Mummy, nothing will become of it. Lux almost dying to Twisted Fate there, by the way. Who would have guessed? The range that Lux had, you couldn't even dream that she would get hit by anything of... Oh my god, Twisted Fate, if only he had a card, that would have been a kill. Trying to throw invisible wild cards onto her, but hey. Ain't no invisible wild cards hitting anyone in this house. Pretty annoying, and I... I apologize already, that's a uh, black shield just evaporating in front of the eyes of Koki. Is he able to get Tarik? He still had a heal there, and of course if you ignore the graves, well then that's what's happened. Do not focus the Tarik, please. Actually, Shen now using a good ultimate there, will probably get the kill onto graves by a nice snare of Morgana. She might actually die there, so hoo hoo! Close job, but good job uh, by Shen. But now his turret is naked. They could actually go for a dragon now, because of course you have Shen top lane already at dragon. Oh no, Twisted Fate is there, Amumu! Run! Arr, try to despair a little bit to do some damage. Cry, Amumu, cry! Nice bandage start there, will probably not use his ultimate though. They could go for a dragon. They pushed away this corner, they have four men on the bottom. Oh, actually I'm lying. Morgana recalled and Corky, well, he was dead. So this is going to be a lot of damage onto Shan's turret. They wasted a lot of time, to be honest. Shan walks to the top. And uh, 
Interestingly enough, Yorick used his ultimate to do even more damage onto the turret, and he will continue to do so. He is fairly low on mana, he has a, a dent in his health, so if he attacks Shan, it will do some turret damage onto him, even two shots, and surprise Shan isn't following him. Well, if he did, then the minions might have destroyed the turret, or at least done it fairly low, but his own minions were there to, to protect him, and it would have been a kill. I'm positive. Oh, it's Twisted Fate who had gate. Maybe that's why he didn't dare. But then again, he Twisted Fate cannot gate into infinity. There is a range with his ultimate. I don't think we can see it though. Too bad we can't. It would be awesome if we could actually in spectator mode to see the range of their abilities if you click on them, but you can't. Well, with range I mean not in digits, just that you see like the cast bar of, of, the, of the spell. Well, I hope you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, well then, a bad luck. This is going to be a 3v3. Amumu needs to hide in this bush though. And he will. And I get invited on League of Legends. I forgot that I turned it off. This will be the ultimate. Oh, Amumu missing advantage does it. was a fairly crucial one. It could have been a double kill. Now it will only be a single one. Twisted Fate is there as well. Amumu trying to go for another banner stars onto the Skarner. He didn't. Was it off cooldown? It was. Why didn't he do it? The, the turret would have killed him. Ah, uh, well. Lux probably going to bind someone. Will it be Graves? I think it will. Graves, of course, should be able to quick draw to safety. He's actually going to, <laughs> to quick draw to aggressiveness. And will get the kill onto Morgana. Twisted Fate flashing in. Oh, nice laser. Gets the kill onto the Graves no matter what. But this will be a dive onto Lux. He didn't get the gold card. He wanted some mana. Instead, he's going to throw some wild cards onto her. They were invisible wild cards. But one auto attack of Twisted Fate should be enough. He has his open, uh, his stack deck ready to go, instead choose to go for minions, and now I think Lux will get away. Weird play there, I think he could have just gone in, but then again, the light binding of Lux might have been enough to, well, if she was able to grab the Twisted Fate and the auto attack her, then the turret might have destroyed her discard. The turret was fairly low to begin with, I'm surprised he just did not attack it. Now Amumu going to show his pretty little face with Shen. Is he going to be able to bandage Toss? He should, but he waited a bit too long, so Shen is fairly far behind. He does have red buff. Nice down there uh, by Shen. This should be a kill. Ignite does wonders, you know. Now they need to run away because that's not a real Yorick. But he does do real damage. And they're going to waste some abilities onto him. Why not? It's not like he can kill Shen. He can do considerable amounts of damage though, so that was actually a fairly nice co uh, combination. Well, yeah, it was a fairly nice combination, I want to say communication, between Amumu and Shen, considering this is solo rank. However, considering how they were playing, I am beginning to think that Shen and Amumu are duo queues. Even though this is solo queue, people who join with a friend can play together in solo queue, so... Considering the fact that Amumu was always top, Valkyrie a little bit too late mate, but there was a Skarner anyway, so kill on to Corky. He was caught, he wanted to check out whether or not Blue Team was doing Baron with 4 people, and guess what, he was right. So, Blue Team pulling ever so far ahead, it used to be 3000 gold differentiation, and now it's already 7k gold and rising. Even though there is no rise to begin with, wild cards! I saw them. No, I'm lying. They went so fast you couldn't even see them. But I can see them because I have the eyes. Eagle eyes. So I'm not too sure what Red Team could actually do to turn this game around. Of course, a Morgana in the end can do a lot of damage as well as a support, but then you need to sit this game out for such a long time. I believe Corky in the end is also a better carry than Graves. Graves is of course a little bit more tankier, but the Valkyrie of Corky will make it so that he is very good at escaping fights. He doesn't have cleanse though, but they do again have Black Shield for Morgana. Amumu's ult works fairly great with Morgana, so if they are able to pull it off at the, perf the perfect timing, so that after Amumu's ultimate is done, the stun of Morgana pops, which is about the duration of Curse of the Sad Mummy to begin with. Another gank onto Yorick perhaps? Why not? I would love another gank, Amumu running ever so slowly, he still has the basic boots. He doesn't. Oh, looky here, we have Skarner going for a Shirella's Reverie, but a flash away and then a Shadow Dash. A Bai Shan will make it so that it was all in vain. 
So yeah, team, co team fight wise, I think red team still has a chance thanks to the Amumu ult, thanks to the Morgana ult. Lux laser does a lot of damage as well, but this is not going well. This is the entirety of blue team just shooting everyone. Amumu trying to do whatever, but he shouldn't have used his ultimate there. He was dead either way. So Graves getting a kill and Twisted Fate getting a kill and Shen needs to get away. Morgana showing off that she has a black shield and barely any ability power. So that black shield doesn't block as much as she would like. She did level it first, didn't she? She didn't. So as a support, she wanted dog binding first, tormented soil second. I don't agree. If you play support, you need to play at least a bit more supporty. You are support, so you don't have as much ability power as you would like. So normally for a Morgana, of course you level black shield late. You have ability power. It, the shield gets increased by ability power, so it's not that big of an issue that you don't uh, that you don't level it first because you have the ability power for it. However, if you are support, you don't have that ability power, so your shield will barely block anything at all. Against this team composition, it's fairly important the shield holds. Laser there by Lux will not get the kill off the Baron. She will do a considerable amount of damage though. It won't be enough. Amumu, if now he had the curse of the sad mummy, it would have been amazing. But he was able to steal it regardless. Now a teleport in by Shan. He is ignoring the Skarner. Too bad for that. Amumu wants to get Skarner though. And he will. So that's an Oracle's down. Amumu chasing down. No, he will not. Shan dying. Now it's the time for the ultimate of Morgana. And will she get some kills? I don't... Well, she did got the Twisted Fate, but now she needs to run away. I hope she has Black Shield. Nope, she used it earlier, and I barely saw it. So, what a turnaround. Corgi, at the same time, has been pushing the bottom for all eternity, which is about two minutes, probably. Even less. Eternities can be short, I know. So, that's actually a, an amazing turnaround for Red Team. This is what they need. This is exactly what they need. Too bad Amumu didn't have his ultimate in that fight, or else they could have aced the team. So Skarner was already dead, and Grace was dead as well, but they could have gotten them, I think. So, if only Amumu didn't use his ultimate back then, where he was ganked by five men. But I understand, he wanted some friends, and he thought, hey, let's hang around. And then they all killed him, because that's what friends do. Things are going down onto Dragon. Do they have it timed correctly? Well, Corky died about uh, six minutes ago, so Dragon should be about to spawn. Or at least that's how they think. I, for one, do not know when Baron spawns. Uh, I mean Dragon. Have I said Baron? I probably did. But Dragon should be about to spawn, though they don't have the exact timing on it, which is fairly bad. They should have watered it, but then again, Skarner did have an early oracle. Thank the gods they did kill Skarner. He didn't bought a new oracle, but look at Grace with a red buff. He's just able to wreck the hell out of Lux. She's able to survive barely, but Twisted Fate might actually use an aggressive destiny upon Lux. And I'm surprised he didn't already. Lux laser going down. Not enough damage there. Now Morgana is going in. Twisted Fate has still not used destiny, so he might still be able to snipe off Lux. Just be certain he will do it. Come on, Twisted Fate. Be amazing. Well, now Lux has regent a little bit of HP thanks to the... No, she doesn't have Baron. Then I don't know how she did it. Oh, a nice binding by Lux. Will it be enough? I think it will. Amazing binding indeed. And that will be a kill onto Shen. A nice shield by Lux. That's how you support. Have you seen it, Morgana? He has Banshee's Veil, so don't even bother casting it, to be honest. That's a turret destroyed, however. Even though I must say Red Team held, considering all odds, they did quite well. I'm amazed Twisted Fate didn't use Destiny onto Lux. Now it's too late. But then again, they did lose a tower, and they did have Baron buff during that fight, so that's the only thing that evened out a little bit. You know, I think Lux was a major damage point and a Mumu, and Lux didn't have Baron. Oh, is this going to be a dragon? I don't know. They are going for Twisted Fate. There is a Lux at the back end as well, so a nice grab there. A good team play for Red Team. This is again what they need. Are they able to pull this out ahead? It would be awesome. Now Corky going to get really aggressive onto a Yorick, which you do not want to do. So that oh nice banish does that by Mumu. Will get the kill onto Yorick. Corky will die as well. 
Dragon is still alive though, and the entirety of Red Team needs to run all the way around to help their teammates, who are a little bit too aggressive I might say. They could have gone for a Dragon, instead they chased the Skarner, which isn't a good idea anyway. There was a Yorick just pounding onto them as well, but at least they are going for a Dragon now. That's the plus side of Bandage Dash. You can just teleport across the map as long as there are minions to grab. Hey, if it rhymes, then it should be an idiom. There should be more League of Legends idioms. So a dragon for Red Team. Their gold differentiation is now still only 5k gold, 5,000 monies indeed. So it's not that far off. Twisted Fate going to Destiny. Is he going to gate? Apparently so. He wanted to destroy the Oracles of Morgana, but now he got caught between a robot and a ninja. Though the ninja, the robot, actually is fairly low on health. And there was a Skarner, but a nice ultimate by Amumu will get the kill. Actually, Corky taking it with a big one. Amumu fairly low on health, but there's no one that will kill him. The only one who was able to kill him would have been Twisted Fate. But his destiny is off cool on cooldown, and he's rather dead. Anyway, ugh. First time I actually saw the crying animation. It's Ugh, it's oily. It's awesome, but it looks rather icky. Baron should be about up in a minute or two maximum. So let's say at about yeah, at about two minutes. I thought they they started it at twenty minutes. Though it might have been twenty one. I don't remember. But considering the Baron buff is gone on everyone, it should be about two minutes. So we shall see. The only one that warded so far is Red Team over there, so nobody has vision onto Baron as of yet. Yorick now approaching, placing a very important ward. Though we want more wards. Torik, we want more wards. He has been farming the bottom lane, so he should be able to buy a lot of wards. Torik, thank you. Three wards for Torik should be enough. Shan is going to push this lane. He has, of course, the Sunfire Cable. It will make it so that he can push a little bit faster. That's how you play Shan, of course. You counter push a lane as long as you have your stand united off cooldown. You just push a lane. You're not needed anywhere anyway. So you push. And once the team fight starts, you stand you. Oh, that's actually a fairly awesome mod. It moves. Too bad blue team can't see it. Oh my god, Skarner with a very, very, very nice and pale there. He went from far away, but of course Skarner has amazing movement speed. Too bad Shen wasn't quick enough with the Stand United, and even then, it wouldn't have been enough, and the Stand United would have been cancelled. And you don't want that, not in the slightest. Dark Binding cast onto Yorick, he doesn't care. Not to show why she casts it, it doesn't do any damage, so she should use it defensively only. Now we have the Stand United, and Mumu is a little bit too late. Well, it's actually Shen that was a little bit too late. Shadow Town. Well, Shadow Dash onto pretty much everyone, but he will get... Oh my god, that Graves does a lot of damage. He's going! He keeps on going! And he backs up. <laughs> because there's no one for him to tank the turret. And what... Oh my god, Koki, what have you done? The Black Shield doesn't block attack damage. That's only ability power based abilities, man. Oh no, Lux, what were you thinking? Already half her HP. How much money does Graves have? Can I see that at the very least? Yeah, 13,000 gold, it might be, yeah, it might be actually accurate, that's a lot of gold on Graves. So it's no surprise, is this going to be GG? Well, probably, the turrets are already gone. Red Team, uh, well, Red Team is about to spawn, so if they don't hurry up, then this might be a turnaround, a fairly short one. Uh, laser, not enough to kill Yorick, but there's a Mumu as well, and Shan, so yes, they need to back off. They were a bit quirky, they didn't want to destroy the Nexus, and that's what happened. But it is, I think... Uh, where do you want to gate? Show me! Ah, bottom lane. To have two minions. And he had one. But Baron has spawned indeed, so it was actually at the 21st minute mark that they went for Baron. Though I might be mistaken, but this is actually a very good time for Red to start. Too bad Tarek has full health and the Skarner has full health. But... The rest of the team didn't, and Twisted Fate used Destiny to get some farm. A little weird farm, he only had one minute minion. It wasn't really worth it. Torek is there, and Skarner is there. They need to do this much quicker, Red Team. 
They should focus on it now or else they will lose no matter what. Now it's Connor going in. Nope, continue doing it. Brazen, everyone is there now and that's a lot of damage. Holy moly, collateral damage. Wrecking pretty much everyone. Skarner with the double kill, and that is pretty awesome. Lux, the only survivor, is going to recall. Morgana actually went back, and wisely so, because the super minions would have destroyed the Nexus regardless. Lux now killed by Twisted Fate. So I didn't really anticipate that. So that will be a GG. A good game indeed by Blue Team. They were ahead at the beginning of the game, and quite frankly, it turned into their favor. So great play there, that jungle invade did all the good jobs. If that's a word. Even though, no, wait. I can't remember, wasn't it? No, 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 it was blue team that got the double kill and it was a red team that got the first blood. If I'm mistaken, then sorry. But I must say that blue team were able to snowball ahead and they were able to make a giant snowman out of it. Which is fairly important. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Whatever it is I'll do. Whenever it is, I'll do it. Bye.